Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. My name is Amar and on this channel we review a variety of sneakers, those mostly being of my favourite pairs and those mostly being of Nike branding. Right, so in today's video I'm kind of continuing on with a little journey that I've had with Nike Bayou. I've done the first one with you lot so I just want to show you again my second pair. So in this video I hope I don't keep you too long. I should be able to finish up quite quick right so i'll just start off with a short introduction if you're new along here please make sure to like share comment and subscribe please make sure to hit that notification bell and stay up to date with any of my videos i'll start off this video as i tend to start off and that will be by looking at the box and packaging so as you can see we have the nike by you box on the front you can see it's has its branding and it says Night by You and it's in black outline writing. Looks pretty cool, nice clean box. Uh, and it is a full draw box, same as the last one. This is the rear of the box. Right, so if we just quickly look at the box label, the box label reads Night by and it states your name and it's given the size made in vietnam and so on it has the sku code and an image of the actual shoe label for you legit checkers i know some of you are buying out pairs they do fly out so some do go out resellers tend to put these up because they're quite limited right so if we just go ahead and pull the slide and review packaging and kicks Same again in my last video, I did actually remove the original packaging. So here is your first look at the Nike Dunk creation by me. Right, so in this video, I'll just run through my experience through the whole procedure i did do my first video please make sure to check that out by all means i'll generally talk about sizing i'll talk about the materials i use and i'll talk about the availability so without going on any further let's start off this video and look at the materials in this particular release there was mostly tie-dye canvas and there were some paisley options there and it was leather they were the main options they were quite bright most of the colors they were quite strong in my opinion. I do like them colours, don't get me wrong. They're nice looking at, but it's not something I would wear. So I just wanted something a bit subtle. So without going on any further, let's just start off by looking at the tour guard. And that's this area around here. And then we'll look at the tour box. And we'll work our way up and then so on. So looking at your tour guard, I went for that same tie-dye option. It is of that Madaroot colourway. So in my opinion, it, I thought it was actually sort of black and that pink hues of the, the Madaroot. But it's actually, a, it's more of like a, a navy colour because if you look at your tool box, because I went for a nice clean black leather tool box, it's not the same sort of colour. So it's more of like a, like a washed navy in my opinion. I don't know if I can, if you can notice that. But if we move towards, when we move towards the rear, I'll show you more of that. So that's my opinion. So that turned out like that. So it's not too bad. You know, it, it turned out all right. But if we just move along to the laces, I did go for the nice clean white laces. So that was quite nice in my opinion. And then along your lace panels, I went for the Paisley option. And it was same again. It's got that same Madaroot colourway in it. And it matched my tour guard, which was of that Madaroot tie-dye. So that was a pretty nice option in my opinion. And then looking at your side panel, I, which is along here, just under your swoosh, I went for that same clean black leather material, same as the tool box. And then if we look to your side panel, which is along here, it kind of runs all along your back of your sneaker. I went with that same tie dye Madaroot colourway, same as much as that metal guard along the front, and I just thought it. I just thought 
in my opinion it falls in really nice and then if we look at your ankle collar which is just above your heel panel i went for that nice clean black leather so i've got three sort of tones of black so in my opinion it just falls in really nice uh and then if we just quickly look at your heel tab i went for a paisley heel tab and it's backed on with some night like, branding and i went with the white colorway for that clean in my opinion and if we move to the front again at your tongue i went for that same paisley colorway as the lace panels which are on each side i look i thought it looks pretty clean in my opinion same again you have a black canvas tab which has your nike branding just bring that in a bit closer it is sort of a, that pressed material so if you run your finger along it it's got that sort of 3d feeling so that grail and so if we just look again towards my swoosh i went for that nice white clean leather swoosh looks really nice in my opinion and if we're looking at your midsole i went for a nice clean black midsole uh, looks pretty nice in my opinion and then if we just switch it around for you it gave you an option for a patch i just thought this was the most appealing out of the lot there were quite a few options it's pretty decent for what night we're offering so you know i've got to, i've got to get it done there so if we just quickly move to the rear of the sneaker i went for a nice clean cut gum sole so guys let me know how i did <laughs> so if we just quickly again look at the inside of the sneaker i went for a nice clean black sock liner and same again if you just want to look at the insole it's of a black insole and it has the nike branding and logo in white i think i've done really well in regards to design i did have a bit of a leeway as i said i missed the first one i might have budgeted up a little bit to be honest so i am quite grateful in that respect that i was able to find out that they dropped at other times those times being i'll mention it again for you lot if you're watching so they do vary in the eu and the uk 2 a.m in the morning 8 a.m in the morning so they're the two drops they have been going on for quite a while so I do get in there so do make sure you select the correct option if you are going for these that you are selecting the correct option and if you're watching this video do by all means go into the nike app or website and create your design now that would be my best advice you'd have that time to actually create it properly i have seen some videos of people where they've messed up on certain areas so you can actually go into the nike app or website create your design leave it there it'll be there ready for you in the archive and you can select it when it's available in the morning right so if we just talk about sizing like i do in all my videos i do do a lot of dunks so with it being a dunk i do always recommend going for your true to size so with this pair do consider just sticking to your true to size so if we just quickly talk about availability as i've just been talking just now they are dropping at the moment do make sure you select the correct option when you're going for the for this particular pair it does retail at 100 and 34 pounds 95 they do drop and those times are 8 a.m in the morning and 2 a.m in the morning uh, they have been going on for quite a while do consider that i don't know how long it's gonna last because they haven't lasted that long to be honest in my opinion uh, so there was a previous one which was a fantastic one and same again i wasn't as clued up about it and i missed out totally on that so let's go ahead and look at the other shoe right same again with this shoe actually it's all of the same colorway uh same again with this one do be careful when you're going for the options because this option doesn't change when you're changing the swooshes so make sure you do select both swooshes as the same colorway if you are actually wanting that sort of design so do consider that when you do change one of them it won't change it on the other one i'm not too sure which pair it is but do consider that when you are doing that so with all that really out of the way if we're just quickly moving it along to the back of this back of the heel panel on the side of the heel panel it gave me an option for an id 
I went for just a nice clean night branding. I did go for the 85 number and I just thought it represented sort of the year of the dunk. My order didn't go through. They said there was some technical issues, but I believe it was because of that reason. With all that out of the way, it's, everything's all the same really on the sneaker. Like I mentioned about the swoosh, do make sure you do change that option when you're coming down to it because it don't give when you change one it won't change the other that is something to consider right same again with other sneaker sorry i didn't go into much detail about it but it did give me the option of the brat right so i'm about to end this video i appreciate you sticking around i appreciate your support i'll finish the video with this on foot and with all that out of the way i hope to see you on the next video